I'm Whitney from EcoVeganGal.com and today in my kitchen I have the lovely Christy Morgan who is one of my friends and an incredible chef. She just came out with the book Blissful Bites and she is here today to teach me and you how to make a delicious Brussels sprouts recipe. Now before you stop watching this because you say you hate Brussels sprouts, promise me that you'll stay and give this a chance because Brussels sprouts are not only nutritious but they can be delicious when you make them right. Nutritional value of Brussels sprouts is a lot but some of its many benefits is that they're anti-inflammatory, antioxidants, they have some vitamin A, C, and K in them as well as folate and a ton of other nutrients. And Christy says this recipe has changed a lot of people's minds so you're in for a treat. This one is called the Lem Kiss Brussels and Butternut Squash, and it's an autumn recipe. Unfortunately, summer just ended. This recipe will take you under 20 minutes to make, and it will cost about $10 total. It will yield about four side servings. Brussels sprouts tend to be kind of expensive, especially when you get them organic. Right now, I've been seeing them for about $6.99 a pound, but they are so worth it, and it's a really nice treat. So I hope you enjoy this, and come on over, and we'll show you how to make it. So butternut squash is awesome. It's very sweet and the skin is a little bit tough. You can leave it on, but I like to peel it. This part here has the seeds in it, but since I don't really need to use the whole one for this recipe, I'm gonna leave the seeds in there and just cut off this part. That way this stays fresher. And then we're gonna cube this and the smaller cubes are going to cook faster and we want to save as much time as possible. You want to have them all in the same size, ideally, so they cook evenly. Brussels sprouts uh, are little cabbages and inside here, if you get organic, they may have aphids. So what I, you can see them in there, <laughs> little aphid guys. <laughs> so what I like to do is I cut off the tips and get these outer layers off so that I can be sure to clean off the aphids. So now we're going to steam the squash first because it takes longer, so I want to get that in the pot. You want them to stay bright and green. So to pan toast almonds, I chopped these. There were whole almonds. You can obviously buy them pre-slivered. You just heat up a skillet and you don't need to add oil to the pan because the nuts already have oil. And we're just gonna watch these and move them around until they get dark and toasty. The sauce is very simple, very light, very delicious. We're gonna use a little bit of brown rice vinegar. You can use tamari or we're gonna use um, coconut aminos, which is raw, gluten-free, and awesome. We're gonna use a touch of brown rice syrup. We're gonna use lemon juice and lemon zest, ideally a fresh lemon organic if you're zesting it, ideally organic because the pesticides are concentrated on the outside. And I'm going to roll it along the cutting board to help release the juices. We want to zest it first before we cut it and juice it. It's easier that way. You don't want to see the white part, so make sure you don't zest into the white area because that is bitter. You just want to get the outside. And then ginger. The ginger is really optional. If you hate ginger, just try it without the ginger. But the trick to peeling ginger, instead of cutting, take a back of a spoon and just scrape along. What I like to do is even though we only need a tablespoon, instead of cutting a chunk off, I leave the whole piece and I just peel down what I need so that I have something to easily grab onto. You're gonna scrape this along the microplane zester and it's easier if you have a big chunk to hold onto rather than having this one inch piece where you're like and then you can get your fingers. I like to add a little bit of sweet for this dressing and we're using brown rice syrup which we also found in bulk and it's a great sweetener because it's a complex sweetener which doesn't send your insulin on a roller coaster. You can use any uh, liquid sweetener of choice. You can use maple or agave. You could use stevia, but it's gonna add a kind of a weird flavor. We're gonna use brown rice vinegar. My favorite brand is Eden. They're a really great ethical company. You can use apple cider or some other light color vinegar if you don't have brown rice vinegar. 
Our dressing is done now, and you want to taste it after you make it to make sure that it has enough seasoning for you, because everybody's taste buds are different. Taste it with what it's going on, so you can get the real kind of flavor it's going to taste like. We're going to take our toasted almonds, and our dressing, and we're going to toss this all together. Ideally, you want to let this sit for about 15 minutes so the flavors meld together. All right, Whitney, give the lemon kiss Brussels and butternut squash a try. This is such a great combination. I happen to love Brussels sprouts and almonds and butternut squash, so this is perfect. And this recipe I chose not because I liked it, but because you liked it. Or some of you liked it. On, on Facebook, I did a poll, and this was the top voted recipe to do from Chrissy's book. Mm. What's great about this is there's just so many different textures and flavors going on. There is like crunchy, they're soft, and then they're sweet and savory and bitter. This could probably be a whole meal if you wanted to just um, have a big bowl of it or put it on top of a grain like rice or quinoa, which I'll probably do. Throw some chickpeas in there. Yeah, that's a great idea. It's perfect timing to be able to try my first recipe from Blissful Bites with the Blissful chef herself. I hope you check out the recipe book and Christy's site. She's always posting great new content and food, very inspiring, healthy vegan food. Thanks so much for watching, of course. You can follow both of us on Facebook and Twitter and our YouTube channels as well. You should subscribe to them for all of the healthy and sustainable ways of living. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you later. Bye.